Hey guys, Zach Shady here, reporting live from Tescdificate Village. And this is actually right next to Spawn, which is pretty cool. Um, in my last episode, on my survival episode, Battle Pig, I came home after going to the desert, and I, I got that wool, and then I went inside. The pig was gone. They count as a hostile mob, so you have to have it on easy, normal, or hard, so when you go away, they disappear. But guys, the griefing phenomenon, phenomenon, or however you want to pronounce it, um, is in the rise. Uh, I mean, and by that I mean a lot of people are starting the grief. How can you protect yourself from this? Well, guys, it is actually simpler than you think. Um, say you want to hide your chest, and so here is, say this is the wall of your house. What you could do. is this. Get your chest minecart and you place it there. Delete this block. There's chest minecart. Now, there you go. Now you either need a button or a lever or a redstone torch. See, redstone torch pushes it down, button pushes it down, lever pushes it down. All you do is that. Now see, it only works a certain way because when a uh, one gets off its track, or it works anyway. Never mind. I uh, actually just figured this out, but if you right click the block, at a certain point you have to click it on the bottom half. Clicking it on the top half won't work because there's nothing down there. But if you click it on the bottom half, you got yourself a chest. And then what you could do is say this is the back wall of your house. You could you could hide it. No, like like that. Or I guess you could make it into an enchanting room. Um like one second. Uh, where's bookshelf? I want to look over here. There's bookshelf. Hello, Mr. Test Difficult. Move. Making a video here. Da da da. But you can't even tell what's there. Like you're just gonna walk in, and they'd probably take the enchanting table and walk away. Bad thing about this, if I was doing it, I'd take the bookshelves too. Because why take the enchanting table? without any bookshelves because a lot of griefers will do it to help themselves some of it will just do it because they're mean but you walk in oh look look, look at this and then they break it and yeah that's one of the bad things about it but if you do it like with the block that like nobody wants like say you're building your house out of cobble you can do it with cobble like the corner of a house because I know a lot of people or not the corner because these sides stick out but a lot of people in their house they'll go out maybe three maybe two and then they'll do it again so that's one thing you can see it from the other side though so maybe if you wanted to make like a rock garden on the other side of your house not a rock garden but um maybe like a little fountain or something so that's the inside of your house and then
Where is the bucket? Bucket, bucket, bucket. You could do something like that. And, I mean, some griefers, if they're really griefers, and they're not doing it just to help themselves, but they're doing it to um, just break stuff, which are the noob griefers, they will, um, they might take everything. But if it's the griefers that will just walk in, take what they need, get out, I mean, they, they won't find it. And then you could just go into your house, place your items in there with ease. I mean, no one's going to find it. Raw. Unless they're me. Because now, I'm going to search everything because I found this out. Well, guys, I'm, I'm not a griefer, though. I, I do it sometimes. But I do it only the servers that say, hey, our server's so awesome, we have anti-grief, no one can grief us. And I'll just be like, no one? Man, please. And then I'll just walk in and I, I'm a new, like, I'll just come in there and be like, dude. And nobody knows it's missing either. And that's the other thing. It's like, nobody knows it's missing. Not even the admins. It must not be ungriefable because I just did it and didn't get caught. But anyways, guys, thanks for watching, and I will see you next time. Um, I'm going camping this week, though, so I probably won't see you guys for a week. I might do one or two episodes today and tonight before I uh, leave. Anyways, guys, thanks again for watching. This has been Zach Shady reporting live from Testificate Village, which I will now burn to the ground. Alright, guys, bye.